welcome to Shine to World. Today we're going to make bread hover. So if you want to know what it is, watch this video. Firstly, you need to have cotton cloth while you're doing this dangerous, I would not say it's that dangerous, but just a bit careful with that you might get stuck into fire. And secondly, you need to have an adult with you so, so that to take care of you. Okay, the ingredients now are for this dish is cashew nuts and ghee and sugar plus water and bread mainly. So what we're going to do first is we're going to on our stuff. And now what you need to do is wait till it comes. You need your ghee now and some cashew nuts. So what you're going to do now is put the ghee in. And then you need to do some cashew nuts. Careful while doing this. Then you, if you need, you can add some more ghee. Later, we need to start stirring it all up. Stir it nice and properly and smooth. so that you get these kind of texture. Guys, I mean, and I need to mention you that until these cashews get nice and brown, you need to stir it well. Also make sure while these bubbles come in the cashew nuts, you need to see if your adult has an eye on you so that you don't get into big danger. I'm starting to get good smell. 
Now I see the cashew nuts are starting to be mm, a bit mm, brown. Ready. We need to put some extra ghee to our pan. And that's enough. Now we get our bread and place it slowly. Now what you need to do until this bread is brown, keep on flipping it. bread and it's nice and crispy in the back and front. Now we need to add one cup of sugar. A one cup of water. And probably this should be a one ratio. Now what you do is carefully bubble them up. Serve it nice and slow. Actually, you need to stir this for five to ten minutes. 
and now just add a pinch of saffron to this and stir it a bit. So it gives you a nice a nice taste. After this you can start doing your bread bit. I'm going to check if my sugar syrup is working. So you put it, put it in the water slowly. Now you can see that um, in the water there's a separate layer. So that means it's finished. Now you can start adding your bread slowly. You can now start um, pinching it into the sugar syrup. So it gives you a, so um, a soft taste. And guys, I forgot to tell you that there's a surprise in the end of the video. So keep watching and wait for it. Start breaking your bread a bit into in soft pieces. Now guys, you need to wait until the water soaks into the bread properly. Mine is slowly soaking away. Wait for yours. Now guys, you got your consistencies of your halwa, so you can start adding your cashews. After you've added all your cashew nuts, you can start stirring up your Now guys, your halwa is ready, so time to eat it and I'll tell you what's the surprise. Today's my sweet grandmother's birthday and she is called Selvi. So wish her a very happy birthday and I hope she enjoys this video. Thank you for watching everybody. Make sure you wish my grandmother. And look at our halwa now. Mm, yummy. Bye. See you. Don't forget to subscribe. Just one thing I want to say everybody. That your grandparents are the most sweetest thing in the world. And they're more sweeter than any other sweets. So don't forget for your grandparents. I always love them.